the channel. I'm your host, Eric, and in this video, we're gonna be replacing the stock Brembo brakes with the PowerStop Z26 replacements. So stick along, this is gonna be a fun video. Pretty heavy. This is the essential stuff right here. You see, most people would call this storage problem. I like to call this storage solutions. This right here is the secret to extra traction in the Hellcat. See this thing right here, what I'm hitting? Inside that is where the meat is for the brake pad, and there's not a lot left. So the rears measure at seven millimeters. The front is about three. The pads that came come with about nine. So we're back with stay on the gas. We're doing a brake replacement on the Hellcat. We're replacing the front stock Brembos with the Z26 power stops. Just look at how massive these things are. They're so Dude, heavy too. Those things, I want to get a tape measure and measure them because they're probably like like 15, 16 inches. Like no doubt, yeah. The size of the rims on like a normal Honda Civic. Not quite the same. You can see that these have the slots in them. Yeah, and so these, these are, are drilled, and, drilled and slotted, yeah. So what's the difference between a slot like this? Every company has their own uh like design on them so it's basically this is basically what like when you're braking you'll see like some like part of the pad like accumulate because it's you know clamping on it so much so this basically just brushes it off have like fresh like meat basically that's the purpose of the slots yeah and then the holes are basically to help cool the rotor down okay. so because cooler brakes means they're going to perform better and not going to fade as fast so Gotcha. Yeah. So we said the back, the rear brakes were at like a seven, right? Seven, yeah. So if you look at the new ones, they actually come with eight millimeters. Okay. So they are barely worn, dude. So are those the rears? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wonder why that is. I mean, you say about 65% of the stopping power comes to the front. Roughly, yeah. I probably engine brake more than I probably should and that probably has a lot to do with it. And the only time I'm ever really using my brakes is when I need to real hard. And that probably, again, puts more emphasis on the front. But yeah. that's impressive that they're having, they're really not being used. Hey, they're oh, they're toasty. toasty. <laughs> <laughs> All around, they're but... toasty. <laughs> <laughs> how dirty the Hellcat is, my goodness. Get it cleaned up. 15 and a quarter, 15, like right in between. Yeah, somewhere around there. That's massive. The I have my mom's room. old CRV ones here. So these are out of a CRV. And these are not even 12 inches. protection. I always keep it on the jack and the jack stand. But yeah, look at that. You barely have anything left in there. I can feel it when I'm driving. Yeah. Oh, you can see, I think where the tire was rubbing at, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's a beefy sway bar, dude. Like, this thing is girth. You look at the, this right here. For any normal car, you have to buy an aftermarket one for it to be that thick. Does it look healthy? Yeah. These freaking Brembos, my gosh. You Dude, don't realize how big the caliper is. It's huge. It's huge. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
kind of seized in there. Yeah, everything's probably just caked in there with all that brake dust. Yeah. Dang. There we go. I think Woo. it's because of all the buildup. Yeah. So right now what I'm doing is compressing the piston. So now look, okay. now it just slides right out. Ah. I like the ear of the pad up against the rotor like that and just push, push the pad and it's compressing the piston. All right, now we can take the caliper off. Oh, what? What happened? I don't know. He just flew by me. I don't know what it was. I didn't see anything. I don't think it was a cicada. <laughs> it sounded like something flying, like trying to get in my ear. Tight. There we go. Got one out. And this is what's holding the calipers on? The caliper on, yeah. So now I gotta get the bottom one. And these are usually on there like super tight. <laughs> For good reason. Yeah. <laughs> Spend this thing like it when you take it off don't let it just hang on the brake line you always want to like tie it up with something i like using bungee cords so this is the knuckle bearings in there this is your hub close enough I like putting a lug nut on to try to keep the rotor kind of straight. Just helps. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Now we just put the brake pads in, the new pins, and this new little clip right here. they go through the holes on the ears of the brake pad so like right there we got to pull it out a little like that and then you put this on there you got to make sure it goes in through this ear and then out through the hole on the caliper you have to this one is harder because you have to hold it down i see what you're saying so it holds the the load like that and then just make sure it lines up right there whole thing came out here so you're good to go Show it yet, you gotta clean it. <laughs> True. Don't spin on me. Brake pads. We 
we even washed the car a little bit. So again, big shout out to Juan for helping me get that done. We knocked it out pretty quick and uh, everything is working great so far. So big thanks. So I think I can get you guys to stay in the seat if I stomp on it. Ooh.